All right, let's talk about, excuse me, uh, Ben Johnson and how uh, Bengals coach Zach Taylor, um, you know, uh, you know, help the Lions OC Ben Johnson prepare for golf in Detroit. Also, Ben Johnson, I speak on real quick. Basically said Jared Goff was the reason he came back to uh, Detroit Lions was the main reason, obviously, the race as well, too. So I've been sitting on this article for a while. The Pistons stuff been hot this offseason. So I've been kind of making sure I get this stuff out here. But, uh, but yes, yeah, get some, some Lions stories. I had some good, you know, videos in the queue uh, on my notepad for a while. So I've been sitting on this for a couple of weeks. So the NFL head coach did not buy the negativity that ended Jared Goff's time with the Rams. Bengals head coach Zach Taylor helped the Lions OC Ben Johnson prepare for golf in Detroit. Hey, Detroit Lions talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. So it says that, um, you know, Jared Goff was, well, let's read DeVardo. Some may call it water and debris, especially after the Los Angeles Rams earned a victory in the Super Bowl. Um, but we can continue to learn details insight into L.A.'s trade with Detroit uh, swap Jared Goff for Matthew Stafford. OK, um, the Rams, you know, tossed multiple first round uh, picks in order to acquire a now world champion quarterback and offload it. Goss blow the contract, but while wow. Los Angeles takes step back in 2023, Detroit seems to be ascending with golf under center. That shouldn't come as a surprise, uh, much a surprise for a Rams uh, assistant and now NFL head coach with Cincinnati uh, Bengals, Zach Taylor. Jared Goff was the best version of himself for 2022, thanks in part to offensive coordinator Ben Johnson. After being considered for head coaching job, Johnson is staying in Detroit. His success is my success. Uh, so that's, that's a different article, but Dan Poppy wrote this week in the Athletic about Goff's blossoming uh, partnership with offensive coordinator and likely soon to be head coach Ben Johnson. Include the article on insights into Goff's marriage with Sean McVay and Rant how and the uh, Rams fall apart and how Taylor still believe in the young quarterback despite much public criticism. And to the contrary, Ben Johnson, the Lions tight end, uh, Ben Johnson, the Lions tight end coach, had questions. Um, as the golf Zach Taylor had answers. Taylor texted Johnson telling him how much he enjoyed his time with golf. He said he's a coachable, even fun to be with. The quarterback is the same guy every day. Taylor texts always ready to work and learn, and he operates without the ego. Taylor kept going, addressing the negativity surrounding golf, telling Johnson he didn't buy into it to Taylor. Golf was not on a downward trajectory, nor had he plateaued. Taylor thought golf's uh, best was still ahead, super talented. Uh, Taylor told uh, Johnson he's one of those guys who can make every throw in the book, high-level player. Next, Taylor messaged Goff telling him that he would love working with Johnson and that, uh, that the coach would be a great for him. He said even though Johnson was in his position, coach, Goff could pick his brain and trust him. Then he called Johnson one of the smartest people he ever been around. Taylor saw something in Goff others did not, and he knew something about Johnson that hardly anyone else could. So they, they work together. You know, I think they all work together at some point. I think Ben Johnson and Taylor work together in Miami or something like that. So you kind of just see some inside things and you kind of do some research. Um, you kind of do some research, right? And, and, and some of these things that, uh, you know, you do background checks. You know, you know how you date a girl, you got to do the whole facts and search social media, ask your homeboys, you know her, whoop, 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 whoop. For you like granddad going out to ho hoes coming to dinner in the boondocks episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. My trusting wife was you gotta do the whole facts. You know, you gotta do the whole facts. So uh but 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 yeah, you know, they they did they back they background check and um basically, you know, uh you know, Zach Taylor still believed in Jerry Goff. You know, he still believes in Jared Goff. So, um, you know, and that's and that's something that's something to point out. You know, that's something to point out. And that. Uh, so, yeah, that's something to point out, but that just let you know kind of how it go. And that he had probable cause to, to continue to believe in what you know, Jared Goff could do. You know, because he had the inside track. And shout out to Zach Taylor. 
Cause it sounds like he he really he really like for help facilitate this, and I'm pretty sure the conversations went deeper, kind of a little bit deeper to that as far as uh, as far as football. Okay, this is what he likes. This is what he don't like. Blase, blah, blase, blah. You know, I'm pretty sure that's kind of how those conversations went. And, you know, that's one thing you got to understand. And, you know, now had the review been negative, I guarantee you the relationship probably would have went a, a totally different way. But like I said, even though I learned this young in life, even though, you know, you might have a certain perception of somebody, go go see for yourself. Everybody deserve uh, everybody deserves a clean slate. Go see for yourself. Somebody might say, well, this dude over here file or whatever. Okay, I'm going to kind of like give him a chance, but be prepared if he really file. And be prepared just in case. But any anytime you, you know, dealing with people that you really don't know, you got to kind of keep your guard up. You know, that's just facts. That's just facts. That's just facts. That's just facts. So, uh, but that, that probably helped them transition a lot easier. You know, that probably helped them transition a lot easier in their relationship. But, uh, but yeah, and you know, and you know when you get a positive review like that, you definitely uh, you're you definitely you know you definitely you know it helps the relationship get off on a great foot. You know you you definitely get off on the right foot. Think about that for a minute. You go, you know, you you go out with a girl and your boy telling, oh, she a hoe, she a hoe, she a hoe. That's, come on, man. How can you not, like, how, how can you give her a clean slate in, the, in that situation? You, instead of you looking for all the great things in her, you start looking for all the negative things. But Jared Goff is one of the big reasons Ben Johnson returned to the Lions. So, he says he's one of the biggest reasons why I didn't uh, want to leave. Uh, Johnson said to golf via the athletic, I feel that we are tied together to a degree. He had, he's an extension of me and I'm an extension of him. I told him multiple times that his success is my success and vice versa. So that's deep. That means he really, really enjoyed playing with him. Coaching him, excuse me. He really, he really, he really enjoyed that. You know, he really enjoyed. He really enjoyed that. You know, when somebody said we tied the hip, and I'm gonna turn down a head coaching opportunity, and blase, blah, blase, blah, 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 man, dude, that's huge. And when you get a when you get a situation like that, where you got somebody like that you locked in with, that type of relationship, especially if Ben Johnson going to do great things. Jared Goff will have an open door if he want to coach or he want to get within an organization. If he wants it. So check that out, bro. He, if he wants it, he can, he can, he can get that with this type of relationship. So, like I said before, that's huge for somebody to turn down a promotion. And maybe it wasn't a promotion he quite felt was the right fit. But a lot of times them shots don't come too often. So, so that's that's huge. They in sync and they like working with each other. And when you got that type of report, you just ask yourself, man, will Bill Ben Johnson be the next coach in Detroit, head coach in Detroit? Hate to say it, dude, but he might be the next head coach in Detroit. You know, if Dan Campbell don't get off to a good start this season, don't be surprised if they don't hand it over to Ben Johnson. I think they really, really like Ben Johnson as the head coach. I really think they like Ben Johnson a lot as the head coach. 
Y'all can be like, oh, CJ, you tripping. You wrong. Yeah. LMA trip, tripping on you. <laughs> yeah, Ninja could be wrong. But uh, it, I wouldn't put it past him. I wouldn't put it past him. He might be the next coach in, the, in Detroit. Yeah, I'm putting it out there. I'm putting it out there. But uh but yeah, let's see what else we got here. He said, I know anything I say to him can be taken pretty serious. Uh we've taken pretty seriously. He really values my opinion, cares about what I'm saying. That's a huge uh for a quarterback. So yeah, I mean they in sync, dude. But hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. For more videos like this, hit the link tree. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Check my new channel while we're right here on YouTube. Good for uh good fella TV for more sports, music, news, and entertainment. I appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.